Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today we've got a major aftershock, a cool type of exoplanet, the Artemis II wind tunnel graphics, and a bombshell about the dating of ice. Spoiler, they're super bad at it. But we're starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star, and we find the sunspot number still climbing. Coronal hole crossing central heliographic longitudes. We haven't had much in the way of solar flaring or eruptive events. Minor surges and confined pops are all there is to see. This is starting to become surprising, given the development of the active region. We have seen this week bring a spate of sunspot groups into view, and some of them have been growing quite well. Today is their most complete Earth-facing position, so eyes open for solar flares today. Top quake of the last day, another massive aftershock from the 8.8 .8 that struck this exact area at the end of July. This 7.8 .8 struck the exact fault tear from that event, and the big aftershocks keep on striking. Astronomers are pivoting to study steam worlds more closely, like Neptune in character, but much closer to their home star with lots of water cooked into a steamy atmosphere. Very interesting article linked below, and my mind goes right to extremophile microbes living in volcanic vents here on Earth. Up next, we're looking at Artemis II in the wind tunnel simulators. They're trying to nail down the finest details, including weak spots in the integrity of the structure, and how the large-scale wind interactions could aid or hinder their intended flight path. Link to those is below, and finally, to this. Folks, I'm going to try to go live tonight, and we can discuss this one in a bit more detail. They went to Tibet drilled a new ice core near where one of the most famous Himalayan cores was taken. They did advanced radiometric isotope dating and found that the same depths, originally thought to be 100,000 years old, are less than 3,000 years old. That's about the craziest of dating adjustments I have ever seen in veterans. Can you remember the other Tibetan ice core that was equally embarrassing in this way? Yeah, they really don't have a clue how old things are on this planet. Folks, head out to ObserverRanch.com and check out the event list. World-class prepper seminar coming first weekend in October. There is a lot happening these last couple months of the year. And don't forget, this year was our rookie season pricing. If you go to any kind of science events or UFO conferences, special interest things, you know those start about three times more expensive than our events. Come out and see us before the end of the year, before those prices go up to normal. ObserverRanch.com we greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone. <laughs>